Welcome to The Sarah Scoop Show. It's time to get the scoop with Sarah. Hey, my name is Annalise Judge from Netflix's Sweet Magnolias. I play Annie Sullivan, the daughter of Dana Sue Sullivan, and I'm here to talk to you guys today. Magnolias follows three moms who grew up as childhood best friends as they struggle through a divorce, you know, a cheating husband, their own trials and tribulations, but as well as their kids' lives, Tyler Townsend, Kyle Townsend, and Annie Sullivan, myself, as they learned some pretty hard lessons also. It's very real, I feel like, and so one thing that I know a lot of people commend us for is that all of the actors look their age, especially the teenage actors. All of us are very close to our age, so I feel like it's way easier for the audience to relate because we're, we all look like we're teenagers because we are. Annie Sullivan is 15 and she's a sophomore in high school, which is unlike me because at the time when we were filming, I was 17 and a senior. Annie's very into photography. She runs the school newspaper with her friend Simon Spry, and you get to see a lot about her and who she is through her photography. She struggles in the world of Serenity, the town that they live in, because she's really trying to find her place and she feels like she's outgrown the town. So you get to see a lot of that with the relationship between her mom and her, as well as her Aunt Helen, who's played by Heather Headley. Definitely not as much as I do for acting. I prefer to be on the other side of the camera, <laughs> but I think that it's definitely very interesting and it was really cool to be the person taking the pictures for sure. Annie and I are actually very similar. She's very grounded and very down to earth, which I could say that I'm the same. She, the same way that she grew up in a small town and feels like she's outgrown it. I grew up in a very small town, maybe not a very small town, but a smaller town. And I too went through that phase of feeling like I've outgrown the town, like I want to see more. There's so much more for me out there. So I definitely related to her in that way. Um, as well as some of the things that she struggles through while she's in high school that we get to see throughout the season. I went through some of the same things, not in necessarily the same way. There was definitely a lot that I could translate between myself and the screen. I definitely had to put myself back into my 15 year old self's shoes and the lessons that I've already learned that she quite hasn't quite learned yet. I kind of had to put myself back in the position of not really knowing all of the answers and not realizing that things get better with time. I really love her character development, especially with the relationship with her mom, played by Brooke Elliott. Their relationship is so beautiful. You know, Annie has a lot of anger and resentment towards her mom. Her parents have been separated for about 18 months. Uh, separated, not divorced. That is important. Um, <laughs> so Annie kind of has this hope that her family will come back together. And seeing that her mom really isn't interested in that really hurts Annie, I feel like, which isn't something that I can relate to. But I definitely had to look into that and really dig into those feelings. So I feel like that relationship and the way that it grows is something that a lot of people could relate to. The audition process was pretty typical. I have an agent, so when the audition invitation came in, she sent it right over and I submitted my self-tape response. When I got the script for it, I was like, wow, like I love Annie. Like she is so much like me. I feel like it's so natural to play her. So I feel like that really contributed to the way that I portrayed her in my audition. A couple days later, I got a call back and was asked to drive to Atlanta to do an in-person audition. I went and went ahead and did that. Um, I felt really confident about it after I left. Um, our director, Norman Buckley, actually looked at me and then looked at our casting directors, the people at the table, and he was like, this is what I want. Um, so I felt really good walking out of the room. But then about a week later, they offered me the role and we started filming about a month later. I was familiar, semi-familiar with the show. I'd seen a couple episodes of it, so I knew that she was Cheyenne from Reba. But I actually didn't work very closely with Joanna. She worked more closely with Carson and Kyle, or I'm sorry, and Logan, not Kyle, <laughs> because she played their mom. But the few times that I did have a scene with her, I mean, it was really awesome to get to talk to her. She is so sweet, so humble, and she's just an amazing person to talk to and be around. Well, so Logan and I were still in school, so we kind of bonded over that because we had to do three hours of school every day on set, which wasn't very fun for us, but um, <laughs> we definitely were able to bond over that. But also, Norman, he taught Logan, Carson, and I a card game 
that I can't remember the name of, but it was very fun. And he couldn't believe that we hadn't heard of it. And I bet after watching this, he won't believe that I forgot the name of it. But it was really fun because then we ended up playing Go Fish with the cards. The same cards that I used in, I believe, episode eight to kind of tell Kyle, like, it's okay. You know, you ditched me, but it's fine. Let's go play cards. So it was really fun to be able to play cards with the cast, as well as some of the extras, the other high schoolers. It was really fun for all of us to kind of bond with them and get to talk to them about their experiences with us and, you know, where they wanted to see the story go. A talent agent approached me and asked me if I had ever considered modeling. And of course, I was like, no, like, what? Um, but after researching the agency, I signed with them about a week later. And that's when I started acting classes. And I fell in love with them instantly. So at first, I favored modeling. But now I have definitely taken a favor to acting. Um, and I definitely credit that to my acting coach, Drew Matthews. His charisma and the energy that he brings to the room when he is teaching drew me in immediately and definitely contributed to the fall in love that I have experienced with acting. still currently based in North Carolina. It definitely was incredible because you don't usually hear of a lot of people from the East Coast who are working with such big names and who have landed such a big role. But so to have that opportunity was just incredible and I'm definitely very grateful for it. Um, it's my first breakthrough role. I've done a few commercials. Netflix being the platform it is, is just incredible. And to be able to work with them, it was a dream. It really was. Sandra Oh, I love her. She is someone that I really look up to. Her in Killing Eve, but in also in Grey's Anatomy. I mean, she is just extremely talented and humble, and I definitely strive to be like her. Definitely meeting Jamie Lynn Spears on the show. Outside of the show, I haven't really met any other celebrities. Jamie Lynn, I grew up watching Zoe 101, so meeting her was like, Oh my gosh, hi. <laughs> but I think I played it off pretty well. We've had some good conversations and I don't think she realized exactly how starstruck I was. <laughs> I'm definitely more into movies, I feel like, but TV shows, I love Money Heist. I'm also, people tend to be a little shocked when I say this, but I love House Hunters and all of the cooking shows on the Food Network. I, maybe that's because I'm an old soul, but I could watch those for hours. <laughs> oh my gosh, designing my dream house is one of my favorite things to do, especially when watching those shows and they go through all the different houses. I'm like, I love this. Like, I need to make sure I make note of that. I love those shows. Favorite movie on, it's actually on Netflix. It's called Someone Great. It's such a feel-good movie. It's so heartfelt and the lessons that the main character learns through it, I ball every time I watch it, and I think I've watched it like 900 times. <laughs> Honestly, it's inspired by the movie Someone Great. I would love to be in like a friend trio and have like one of those feel good, like girl drama, girl comedy, sort of just friendship packed movie. I know, hopefully that made sense, but um, just, you know, a trio and how they go through their lives. Definitely something like Someone Great. I think that that would be so fun. I heard, I think I read somewhere that those three women are still really good friends. And I think that, that would be such a fun way to bond over the movie and then continue to be friends. I just love that so much. Yeah, um, definitely. I take every opportunity I can to say thank you to everybody who watches and supports me in the show. I mean, you guys are the reason that we hit number one as fast as we did and have become as popular as we have. And that means so much to me. And I know it means so much to everybody else in the cast. It's just incredible how much you guys have loved something that we love so much. And I really appreciate that. Five years, I definitely see myself in LA. I want to own a bike and ride it every morning on the beach because that's something I've never gotten to do. Um, so I want to do that. But I also am hoping to be an award-winning actress in five years, as well as have multiple other IMDb credits. I just think that having those moments would be so monumental for me and so heartwarming. And those are just some things that would mean a lot to me that I hope to accomplish. Thank you for watching The Sarah Scoop Show. Head to sarahscoop.com for more.